see how I walk through the process, Stephanie, of realizing like, wait a minute, I know how to overcome stuff. So then I go through this and I start flexing those muscles again of, I know how to overcome. And really, it's kind of like we said earlier, I think the, I think the win in life is that you recognize that you're stuck and you try to overcome being stuck just faster. Like that's it. You know, instead of it taking years to figure this stuff out or months to figure this stuff out or weeks or, you know, like how do we get down to days or minutes so, so that we can kind of recover faster. So even though I said that process was about a three week process for me, when I started going through my personal blueprint for overcoming challenges, and you can fill in whatever you want as your personal blueprint, then I realized, oh, okay. Like actually immediately as I started doing that, I started kind of being on the upswing and figuring things out again. And there are a couple things in what you said, Anita, that really speak to me. And I think we'll speak to someone regardless of mm -hmm. their own personal journey of overcoming something or getting past something. And the thing that I heard and what you said is that you have a knowing that you will overcome, mm -hmm. that you have before, and that you will again, no matter what it is that's whatever obstacle is appearing in your way. And the truth is that no matter who you are listening, watching this, everything that you've gone through, you've gotten through, you've gotten over yeah. to where you are right now. And that's something that we can rely on, that all these things are changeable and that we have what we need to get through them. Mm -hmm. And when you know that, you don't spend tech, tend not to spend as much time wallowing in the, yeah. the, the hopelessness and the despair or the discouragement that you might, that I might experience. That's one thing that I heard. And another was that very quickly, it seems, you started paying less attention to the feeling of being stuck and yeah. the story of I'm stuck and more attention to the things you're actually creating and what mm -hmm. you want to be creating. And I see this as actually very natural and we, it, we do it so naturally and it's such an ordinary thing that we don't see how miraculous it is, but mm -hmm. this is our innate resilience in action is that as soon as we start stop paying attention to something that feels bad and we just put like it, it's simple you don't even have to notice you're doing it if if I'm involved and engaged in something else whether it is washing my hair you know it doesn't it could be very mundane as soon as I do that and actually engage with it and put my attention on creating I am feeling that and the creation of it comes alive yeah I can put my attention back on that story of stuckness whenever I want Mm -hmm. But it's that simple. And I hear that in your story that you went, well, you know, I don't want to or need to pay attention to this. Let me put my attention over here. And then it becomes constructive. And then you're on the path of creation instead of stuckness. Mm 